Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Countries of the World Poetic Tour Part 1. Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a mountainous, landlocked country at the crossroads of Central and South Asia. This country borders Pakistan, Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and China. Kabul is the capital and largest city. The population is around 32 million people, composed mostly of ethnic Pashtuns, Tajiks, Hazaras, and Uzbeks. Alexander the Great invaded Afghanistan in the 4th century BC. Following the conquest by Mauryan Indians, Buddhism and Hinduism flourished in Afghanistan for centuries. Islam came from the 7th to the 12th centuries. In the 19th century, Afghanistan became a buffer state between the British and Russian empires. In 1979, the Soviet Union invaded, but by 1996, the Taliban ruled. In 2001, the United States invaded. In, tw- in 1219, Genghis Khan and his Mongol army invaded. The country is dominated by the Hindu Kush mountain range. Afghans are noted for their tribal solidarity and high regard for personal honor. Classical Persian and Pashto poetry are a cherished part of Afghan culture. Afghanistan is known for its high-quality pomegranates, grapes, and sweet melons. Tea is a favorite drink among Afghans, and they typically eat naan breads, yogurt, rice, and meat in their diet. The country has plenty of wide-open, empty spaces, where it is really very quiet. Albania. This country is located on the Balkan Peninsula in southeastern Europe on the Adriatic and Ionian Seas. Its neighbors include Montenegro, Kosovo, North Macedonia, Greece, and Italy. Tirana is the capital and largest city. Albania's landscape ranges from snow-capped mountains to hot, sunny sea coasts. Albania has been ha- inhabited by numerous civilizations such as the Illyrians, Thracians, ancient Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Venetians, and Ottomans. The Kingdom of Albania was formed in the 14th century. In the 15th century, Albanian resistance to the Ottoman Empire won them acclaim all over Europe. Modern Albania became independent in 1912. Enver Haksa became the communist dictator after World War II. Communism ended in 1991. The Albanian rebellion against the Ottoman Empire halted the Turkish advance into Europe for 25 years. Zog I was the first and only king of Albania from 1928 to 1939. The Albanian Alps mountains are among the most humid regions of Europe. The golden eagle is the national symbol and animal of Albania. 60% of Albanians are Muslim and 17% Christian. Red and black are traditional popular colors. The national the country's national motto is You Albania, you give me honor. You give me the name Albanian. Albanians enjoy consuming lemons, oranges, figs, and olives. Lamb lamb, lamb and rice baked under a thick, tart veil of yogurt is the national dish. Coffee is important. Albania has more coffee houses per capita than any other country in the world. The number of ethnic Albanians living outside the country is greater than the total population of Albania. Oh, how wonderful it is to learn about this country. One could easily develop a mania. Algeria. This country is located in the Maghreb region of North Africa. It is the largest country in Africa and and the Arab world. Algeria's neighbors include Tunisia, Libya, Niger, Mali, Mauritania, Western Sahara, and Morocco. The northern coastline is on the Mediterranean Sea. Most of the population lives in the fertile north while the Sahara Desert dominates the geography of the south. The population numbers 44 million people, and the capital and largest city is Algiers, located in the far north on the Mediterranean coast. Algeria has been part of many empires, including the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Romans, Vandals, Byzantines, Umayyads, Abbasids, Almoravids, Spaniards, Ottomans, and finally, the French colonial empire. 
Most Algerians are Arab Berber, practicing Islam and speaking Arabic, Berber, and French languages. Algeria is one Algeria was one of the breadbaskets of the Roman Empire, exporting cereals and other agricultural products. St. Augustine was the bishop in what's now Annaba, Algeria, and the Roman province of Africa. Algeria became independent in 1962, ending French rule. The Atlas Mountains are in the northwest. The economy relies on petroleum production. Algeria produces 1.1 million barrels of crude oil every day. Albert Camus was an Algerian French author who won the 1957 Nobel Prize in Literature. Algerians enjoy eating couscous, steam balls of crushed wheat, served with strong sweet coffee while seeking shelter from the hot sun and high heat. Andorra. This country is a landlocked microstate on the Iberian Peninsula in the Pyrenees Mountains between Spain and France. Andorra is believed to have been created by Charlemagne. Two princes rule Andorra, a bishop in Catalonia, Spain, and the president of France. The population is 77,000 people. The capital, Andorra La Vela, is the highest capital city in Europe, at an elevation of 3,000 feet above sea level. The official language is Catalan. The ancient Greek historian Polybius described the An- Andesans facing the Carthaginian army in its passage through the Pyrenees Mountains during the Punic Wars. During the Spanish Civil War, the people of Andorra welcomed refugees from both sides. Andorra does not have its own armed forces, although there is a small ceremonial army. Military defense is shared by France and Spain. Tourism accounts for 80% of the economy. Ski resorts are important. 88% of the people are Roman Catholic Christians. Andorra is home to folk dances such as contrapas and matraxa. Popular food includes duck with winter pear, lamb in the oven with nuts, spinach with raisins, and dandelion salad. Romanesque art is very important, a tradition going back to the 12th century. What a fascinating country, absolutely full of energy. Angola This country is located on the west coast of southern Africa. Its neighbors include Namibia, the Congo, and Zambia. Its west coast is on the Atlantic Ocean. Angola was a Portuguese colony starting in the 16th century. Angola became independent in 1975 as as a Marxist-Leninist one-party dictatorship. A devastating civil war lasted from 1975 to 2002. Angola has vast mineral and petroleum reserves. Portuguese is the the national language and Roman Catholic Christianity the popular religion. Angola played a major role in the Atlantic Ocean slave trade. The population numbers 24 million people. The ethnic groups include the Ojumburdu, the Umbundu, Ambundu, Bakongo, and others. Luanda is the capital and largest city. Basketball is the most popular sport. Popular foods include beans, rice, pork, chicken, tomatoes, onion, garlic, and cassava. Angola is cooled by the cold Benguela ocean current flowing from south to north along the Atlantic Ocean coast. What a wonderful country! To Angola, here's a toast! Antigua and Barbuda This country is located in the Caribbean and has two major islands, Antigua and Barbuda, along with smaller islands including Great Bird, Maiden, Prickly Bear, and Redonda. The population totals 97,000 people, with 97% living on the island of Antigua. The capital and largest port and city is St. John's on Antigua. Antigua is part of the Leeward Islands in the Lesser Antilles. The island of Antigua was explored by Christopher Columbus in 1493 and was named after the Church of Santa Maria la Antigua in Valladolid, Spain. This country was a British colony from 1632 to 1981. The economy is very dependent on tourism. The original people were the Arawak and Carib Indians. After European contact, most of them died from European diseases. African slaves were brought in to work in the tobacco and sugar plantations. Most of 
Barbuda was devastated in 2017 by Hurricane Irma, leaving the island barely habitable. There are many beaches, lagoons, and natural harbors in this country. The population is of West African, British, and Madeiran descent, 91% black and mulatto. English with a Barbudan accent is the official language. Most of the people are Christian in religion. Queen Elizabeth II is also the Queen of Antigua and Barbuda. Cricket is the national sport. Popular music includes calypso, steel drum, and reggae. The national dish is cornmeal and okra. Fudge and peanut brittle are popular desserts. The national bird is the frigate bird. What a, fu- what a wonderful country. Antigua and Barbuda is a special place. Not for everyone in the herd. Argentina. This country is located in the southern half of South America, sharing the southern cone with Chile. Other neighbors include Bolivia, Paraguay, Brazil, and Uruguay. To the south of Argentina is the Drake Passage, which connects the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean. Argentina is the largest Spanish-speaking country in the world. Buenos Aires is the capital and largest city. Argentina claims sovereignty over a piece of pie-shaped section of Antarctica, the Falkland Islands, South Georgia, and the South Sandwich Islands. The Inca Empire expanded into the northwest of the country in ancient times before European contact. Argentina became a Spanish colony in the 16th century. Large numbers of people from Italy and Spain moved to the country starting in the late 19th century. Today, 62% of Argentines have full or partial Italian ancestry. Argentine culture is strongly connected to Italian culture. Argentina was the seventh wealthiest country in the world early in the 20th century. Currently, it ranks 71st in the world. In the 1940s, this country descended into political instability and economic decline. Europeans first arrived in the region with the 1502 voyage of Amerigo Vespucci, for whom America is named. General José de San Martín led Argentina, Chile, and Peru to independence against Spain in 1816. Juan Perón became president in 1946. His wife, Eva Perón, who played a critical role in his administration, died of cancer in 1952. Pope Francis was born in Argentina. The tango is a popular dance. Argentina won the prestigious International Soccer Championship, the World Cup, in 1978 and 1986. Empanada, a small stuffed pastry, is a popular type of food. What a wonderful country. Thinking about Argentina puts one in a good mood. Armenia. Armenia is a landlocked country located in the Caucasus Mountains between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Neighboring countries include Turkey, Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Iran. Yerevan is the capital and largest city. Armenia is ancient. It was the first country in the world to adopt Christianity as the the official religion in the 3rd century A.D. Between the 16th and 19th centuries, Armenia was ruled by the Ottoman and Persian empires. By the 19th century, eastern Armenia had been conquered by the Russian Empire, while most of western Armenia remained under Ottoman rule. During World War I, 1.5 million Armenians died in the Ottoman Empire due to the Armenian Genocide. In 1922, eastern Armenia became a founding member of the Soviet Union. Armenia became independent in 1991 after the breakup of the Soviet Union. Mount Ararat, currently located in Turkey, was historically part of Armenia. It is a symbol of their land, present on their national emblem and where Noah's Ark reportedly landed after the flood. The population is 2.9 million people. 93% of Armenians belong to the Armenian Apostolic Christian Church. The apricot is the national fruit. Instruments like the duduk, dol, zurna, and kanu are commonly played for Armenian folk music. Obsidian is crafted into jewelry and ornaments. The pomegranate represents the nation. What what an amazing country! A place to go for a fine vacation. Australia Australia is the largest country in Oceania and the world's sixth largest country. 
The population is 26 million people, mostly on the eastern seaboard. Canberra is the capital and Sydney the largest city. Other cities include Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide. Indigenous people have lived in Australia for 65,000 years. Dutch explorers arrived in the 17th century and called the land New Holland. In 1770, Australia's eastern half was claimed by Great Britain and initially settled by convicts in New South Wales starting January 26, 1788, Australia's National Day. Australia is the oldest, flattest, driest inhabited continent with the least fertile soil. This country has a variety of landscapes and climates with deserts in the center, tropical rainforests in the northeast, and mountain ranges in the southeast. Australia is also known as Oz and the land down under and the great southern land. The original Australians are Aborigines. Their culture is one of the oldest continuous cultures on earth. Before European contact, most of the indigenous Australians were hunter-gatherers with complex economies and societies. Well-known Australian animals include the kangaroo and koala bear. Between 1788 and 1945, most immigrants came from England, Ireland, and Scotland. Cricket and football are the popular sports. The Sunday roast is the traditional meal. This includes roasted meat, roast potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, stuffing, gravy, applesauce, mint sauce, and red currant jelly. A delicious meal, making full one's belly. Austria. Austria is a landlocked country in the Alps Mountains of Central Europe. Vienna is the capital and largest city. Neighboring countries include Germany, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia, Italy, Switzerland, and Liechtenstein. German is the official language. Early in the 19th century, Austria established its own empire and became a great power. In 1867, the the Austria-Hungary Empire was established. The First World War started after the Archduke Ferdinand, heir to the throne of Austria-Hungary, was assassinated. Austria lost its empire after the First World War. Austria was settled in ancient pre-Roman times by various Celtic tribes. Charlemagne, king of the Franks, conquered the area in AD 788 and introduced Christianity. From AD 1278 until 1918, the Habsburg royal family dominated Austria. The Turkish Ottoman Empire was stopped twice from expansion into Europe in Vienna in 1529 and 1683. Countries or parts of countries that were part of the Austrian Empire include Hungary, Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Romania, Ukraine, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, and Poland. Austrians have long been regarded as ethnic Germans. Today, Turks and Serbs are large minority groups. 74% of Austrians are Roman Catholic Christians. Famous Austrian musical composers include Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Joseph Haydn, and Johann Strauss. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a well-known Austrian-American actor. What a wonderful country! Visiting Austria is an important factor. Azerbaijan Azerbaijan is a country located at the boundary of Eastern Europe and Western Asia, in the Caucasus Mountains and on the Caspian Sea. Neighboring countries include Russia, Georgia, Turkey, and Iran. Baku is the capital and largest city. Azerbaijan was a part of the Soviet Union from 1920 to 1991. Modern Azerbaijan became independent in 1991. This country is one of six independent Turkic states. 97% of the population is Muslim following the religion of Islam. Azerbaijan is named after Atropates, a Persian nobleman who served under Darius III and Alexander the Great in 323 BC. Early settlements included the Scythians and Medes. The religion of Zoroastrianism became popular around 600 BC. During the Second World War, 80% of the Soviet Union's oil on the Eastern Front was supplied by Baku, Azer. Azerbaijan. Mount Bazarduzu is the highest mountain peak in the country. The Karabakh horse is the national animal. Azerbaijan is a popular destination for tourists for snow skiing, religion, spa, and health care. 
Music of Azerbaijan builds on folk traditions that reach back nearly a thousand years. Most Azerbaijani dances have a very fast rhythm. Traditional Azerbaijani carpet is handmade and of high quality. Black tea is the national beverage. Freestyle wrestling is the national sport. Azerbaijan is a traditional powerhouse of world chess. What a wonderful country. One one that is bound to impress. The Bahamas. The Bahamas is an archipelago of small islands off the southeast coast of Florida, USA and the Atlantic Ocean, north of Cuba and Haiti, and considered part of the Caribbean islands. The country has more than 700 islands, keys, and islets. The capital, Nassau, is on the island of New Providence. The the Lucayan Indians lived in the Bahamas for many centuries. European contact with North and South America began in 1492 when Christopher Columbus crossed the Atlantic Ocean. He arrived first in the Bahamas. The Spanish enslaved the Lucayan Indians and shipped them to the island of Hispaniola. There were very few people in the Bahamas from 1513 to 1648 when English colonists from Bermuda settled on the island of Eleuthera. This country was a British colony from 1718 to 1973, when independence came. Ninety percent of Bahamians today are descendants of African slaves. Lyndon Pindling became the first Prime Minister of the independent Bahamas. Major islands include Eleuthera, Cat Island, Acklands, Andros, and Bimini. The marlin fish and flamingo bird are national animals. The yellow elder is the national flower. The Bahamas is wealthy and tourism drives the economy. Junkanoo is a traditional street parade. Cricket is the national sport. Conch fritters are a popular food. What a wonderful country. A vacation in the Bahamas would raise anyone's mood. Bahrain. Bahrain is a small archipelago in the Persian Gulf 16 miles off the northeastern coast of Saudi Arabia. Bahrain Island makes up 83% of the country's land mass. The population is 1.5 million people, and the capital and largest city is Manama. Bahrain was one of the earliest areas to be influenced by Islam during the lifetime of Muhammad in 628 CE. Bahrain was ruled by Portugal from 1521 to 1602. In the late 1800s, this country became a British protectorate. Independence came in 1971. The Greek historian Strabo believed the Phoenicians originated from Bahrain. Before the development of petroleum, Bahrain was largely devoted to pearl fisheries. Bahrain is generally a flat, arid desert. Droughts and dust storms are the main natural hazards. The national bird is the bulbul, while the national animal is the Arabian oryx. The national flower is the dina. The House of Khalifa has been the royal ruling family of Bahrain since 1783. They share power with a parliament. Tourism is important and bird watching, scuba diving and horse riding are popular tourist activities. The state religion is Islam. Arabic is the official language, though English is widely used. Pottery making and textile weaving are popular forms of art. What an interesting country! In the family of nations, Bahrain plays an important part. Bangladesh Bangladesh is in South Asia and has a population of 160 million people. It is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. Neighboring countries include India and Myanmar. The Bay of Bengal is to the south. Nearby countries also include Nepal, Bhutan, and China. Dhaka is the capital and largest city. Bangladesh became a part of the Mughal Empire in 1576, then the British Empire in 1757. Independence came in 1947 when the area was known as East Pakistan. With West West Pakistan, it formed the country of Pakistan. Conflict with West Pakistan led to independence as Bangladesh in 1971. Bengalis make up 98% of the total population. This country is the third largest Muslim-majority country in the world. Most of the country is dominated by the Ganges River Delta, the largest river delta in the world. Bangladesh is called the land of rivers. Natural calamities include floods, tropical cyclones, and tornadoes. Severe flooding is a major problem. 
The Bengal tiger is the national animal. Pottery is widely used in Bengali culture. Rabindranath Tagore was the first non-European to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. The bungalow style of house originated in Bengal. The 60-dome mosque was built in the 15th century by the Muslim saint Shah Jahan. He's a guy who really studied well the Quran. Barbados Barbados is an island country in the Lesser Antilles of the West Indies in the Caribbean region of the Americas. Neighboring countries include St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Martinique, and Trinidad and Tobago. Its capital and largest city is Bridgetown. The Carib Indians lived in Barbados starting in the 13th century. Late in the 15th century, Spanish navigators invaded and claimed the island for Spain. Portugal claimed Barbados from 1532 to 1620 and introduced wild boars for a good supply of meat whenever they visited that the island. Barbados was a British colony from 1625 to 1966. African slaves were brought into work on the plantation. The name Barbados comes from the Spanish word Los Barbudos, meaning the bearded ones. Sugarcane cultivation came in 1640 and Barbados eventually had one of the world's biggest sugar industries. When independence came in 1966, Errol Barrow was the country's first prime minister. Barbados is host to four species of nesting turtles, green turtles, loggerheads, hawksbill turtles, and leatherbacks. This island is host to the curious and mischievous green monkey. Barbados is divided into parishes or subregions, all named after saints. Andrew, George, James, John, Joseph, Lucy, Michael, Peter, Philip, Thomas, as well as Christ Church. The national dish is cuckoo, cornmeal, and okra with flying fish and spicy gravy. What a, what a wonderful place to visit, even if it's stormy and the ocean is wavy. Belarus Belarus is a landlocked country in Eastern Europe. Its neighbors include Russia, Ukraine, Poland, Lithuania, and Latvia. Minsk is the capital and largest city. In the past, Belarus was ruled by Lithuania and Russia. Belarus joined the Soviet Union in 1922 and became independent of the USSR in 1991. Belarus is also known as White Russia. Belarus was devastated by the Mongol invasion in the 13th century. Polish and Russian cultures have had strong influence. This country is relatively flat with much marshy land and forests. The Dnieper is a major river which flows into the Black Sea. Eastern Orthodox Christianity is the dominant religion. Opera and ballet are popular. Cyril of Tura was a 12th century Orthodox Christian saint who wrote poetry. Svetlana Alexievich won the 2015 Nobel Prize in Literature. Vegetables, pork, and bread are popular food. To show hospitality, guests are offered bread and salt upon arrival. Victoria Azarenka was a former world number one tennis player. What an interesting country. For the good people of Belarus, let's say a prayer. Belgium. Belgium is a small country in Western Europe. Neighboring countries include the Netherlands, Germany, Luxembourg, and France. The North Sea is to the northwest. Brussels is the capital and largest city. There are two languages, Dutch and French. French is dominant. Along with the Netherlands and Luxembourg, Belgium is part of the Low Countries. Belgium has been a battleground for European powers, earning, earning the nickname Battlefield of Europe. Belgium had three overseas colonies, the Congo, Rwanda, and Burundi in Africa. The capital of the European Union is, Union is in Belgium. Belgium was a part of the Roman Empire. In the 5th century, Frankish Merov Merovingian kings ruled this area. Today, King Philippine is the head of state with limited power. The two large regions are Flemish and Walloon. Gerardus Mercator was a famous 16th century mapmaker. The population numbers 11 million people. Roman Catholic Christianity has been the dominant rel religion. Anthony Van Dyke was a famous 17th century painter. Jean-Claude Van Damme is a popular movie star. Belgium is famous for beer, chocolate, waffles, french fries, and mayonnaise. The national dish is steak, fries, and salad. 
For those who believe Belgium is a tremendous country, their opinion is certainly valid. Belize. Belize is a Caribbean country located in Central America. Its neighbors include Mexico and Guatemala. The Caribbean Sea is to the east. Belmopan is the capital and largest city. The Mayan civilization spread into the area starting in 1500 BC and flourished until 1200 AD. The area became a British colony in 1840 known as British Honduras. <coughs> Independence came in 1981. It is the only English speaking country in Central America. The British brought in African slaves to cut logwood trees. These trees were used to create a valuable fixing agent for clothing dyes. Mahogany trees were another important industry. When Belize became independent in 1981, Guatemala refused to recognize the new nation, claiming Belize belonged to Guatemala. About 1,500 British troops remained in Belize to deter any possible incursions. The British Army garrison in Belize is used for jungle warfare training. Belizean jungles are home to the jaguar and many other mammals. Scarlet and macaw birds are native. Rice and beans with stewed chicken and potato salad is a popular meal. Simone Biles, the famous gymnast, is of Belizean American descent. The keel billed toucan is the national bird. What an incredible country! Not for everyone in the herd. Benin. Benin is a country in West Africa. Its neighbors include Togo, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, and Niger. The majority of the population live on the coastline of the Bight of Benin, part of the Gulf of Guinea, part of the Atlantic Ocean. The capital of Benin is Porto Novo, but the seat of government is in Cotonou, the country's largest city and economic capital. Benin is a tropical nation, highly dependent on agriculture, and is a large export- exporter of cotton and palm oil. The official language language is French, with several indigenous languages such as Fon, Baraba, Yoruba, and Dendi, also commonly spoken. The largest religious group is Roman Catholic Christianity. Others include Islam, Voodoo, and Protestant Christianity. The Kingdom of Dahomey ruled the area from 1600 to 1904. It was called the Slave Coast due to the large number of slaves taken and shipped to the Americas. France ruled the country starting in 1904, and independence came in 1960. Portugal also had a long colonial presence. Much of the country is covered with thorny scrub and dotted with huge baobab trees. Benin has a park reserved for the endangered West African lion. Deep-fried, black-eyed peas is a popular food. What an interesting country! A A visit to Benin would put anybody in a good mood. Bhutan. Bhutan is a landlocked country in South Asia in the Himalayan mountains. Its neighbors include China, India, Nepal, and Bangladesh. The population numbers 750,000 people. Bhutan is a constitutional monarchy with Vajrayan Buddhism as the state religion. The largest city is the capital Thimphu. Buddhism was introduced in the 7th century AD. The Bengal tiger, clouded leopard, Hispid hare, sloth bear, red panda, snow leopard, and Himalayan musk deer are wild animals. In 2010, Bhutan became the first nation in the world to ban tobacco. Lemon glazed chicken, sautéed spinach, and steamed red rice are, are, is a popular dish. Archery is the national sport. Basketball and cricket are also popular. What an interesting country is Bhutan. Let's go visit. Come on. Bolivia. Bolivia is a landlocked country in South America. The capital cities are Sucre and La Paz. The geography includes the the Andes Mountains in the west, the Amazon River Basin in the east. Neighboring countries include Brazil, Paraguay, Argentina, Chile, and Peru. Spanish is the predominant language. Indigenous languages include Guarani, Aymara, and Quechua. Before Spanish colonization, the area was part of the Inca Empire. The Spanish arrived in the 16th century. Independence came in 1825. The country was named after the great liberator of South America, Simón Bolívar. Chile seized Bolivia's coastline in 1879. The llama is an important beast of burden. Bolivian silver 
was a valuable source of revenue for the Spanish Empire. In the 20th century, tin mining became the most important source of wealth. The Cuban revolutionary Che Guevara was killed in Bolivia by, Bol- by, Bolivian- by the Bolivian army in 1967. Most Bolivians are mestizos with European and Indian ancestry. Bolivia shares Lake Titicaca, the highest body of water in the world, with Peru. The dominant religion is Roman Catholic Christianity. Evo Morales became Bolivia's first Indian president, serving from 20, 2006 to 2019. What a wonderful country. For those who have visited, they can proudly say, Bolivia, I have seen. Bosnia and Herzegovina. This country is located in southeast Europe on the Balkan Peninsula with a small coastline on the Adriatic Sea. Bosnia became a country in the 12th century. From the 15th to the 19th centuries, Bosnia was ruled by the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Turks brought the religion of Islam. Then Bosnia was ruled by the Austrian Empire until the end of the First World War. Bosnia was part of Yugoslavia until independence came in 1992. The three main ethnic groups are Bosniaks, Serbs, and Croats. Sarajevo is the capital and largest city. Bosnia was also part of the Roman and Byzantine empires. In 1914, Gavrilo Princip, a Bosnian Serb, assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian throne in Sarajevo. This was the first event leading to the First World War. The country is mountainous, containing the Dinaric Alps Mountains. The main religions are Islam, Eastern Orthodox Christianity, and Roman Catholic Christianity. Sarajevo hosted the 1984 Winter Olympics. Medjugorje has become a popular Christian pilgrimage site since the apparitions of Mother Mary to six local children in 1981. The national dish is Savapi, a grilled dish of minced meat. What an extremely interesting country. To visit Bosnia and Herzegovina would be a real treat. Botswana. Botswana is a landlocked country in southern Africa. It is very flat, with 70% of its territory being in the Kalahari Desert. Neighboring countries include South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe, and Zambia. With a population of 2.3 million people, it is one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world. The capital and largest city is Gaborone. 85% of the people are from the Tswana ethnic group, descendants of Bantu-speaking tribes who moved into the area around 600 A.D. Botswana was a British colony from 1885 to 1966 when independence came. As a British colony, it was known as Botswana land. The economy is dominated by mining, cattle, and tourism. Botswana means land of the Tswana. Botswana has grasslands and savannas with wildebeests, antelopes, and zebras. Diamond mining is important. Protestant Christianity is the dominant religion. The number one ladies' detective agency is a series of 20 novels by Alexander McCall Smith, all set in Botswana. The 1981 comedy movie The Gods Must Be Crazy Crazy is set in Botswana. And the 2000 Disney movie Whisper, Whispers an Elephant's Tale was filmed there also. What a fascinating country Botswana is. They have so much to show. Brazil. Brazil is the largest country in South America and Latin America. The population totals 210 million people. The capital is Brasilia and Sao Paulo is the most populous city. Portuguese is the national language. Roman Catholic Christianity is the dominant religion. The Atlantic Ocean is to the east. Most of the Amazon River rainforest is in Brazil. This country was a Portuguese colony from 1500 to 1822. By the mid-16th century, sugarcane became the most important export. From 1500 to 1800, 2.8 million African slaves were shipped to Brazil. Pedro II was king of Brazil from 1831 to 1889. Brazilian animals include jaguars, anteaters, sloths, armadillos, and monkeys. Samba is the popular music. Vejo... Fejoda, a stew of beans with beef and pork, is the national dish. Brazil is a world leader in the sport of soccer or European football. Brazil won the World Cup in 1958, 1962, 1970, 1994, and 2002. 
What a fascinating country. Oh, to visit Brazil and say, I've been to Brazil. I'm one of the few. Brunei. Brunei is located on the north coast of the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia. Brunei shares Borneo with Malaysia and Indonesia. The capital and largest city is Bandar Seri Begawan. The government is an absolute monarchy ruled by the Sultan. Brunei was a British protectorate from 1888 to independence in 1984. Brunei is wealthy based on petroleum and natural gas. Ancient Brunei was Buddhist but became Muslim in 1400. This country has a coastline on the South China Sea. The population numbers 430,000 people. Islam is the official religion. Standard Malay is the primary language. English is widely spoken. Amboyote, Amboyote dish derived from the interior trunk of the sago palm is the national dish. Oh, how amazing it would be to visit Brunei. This could be anyone's wish. Well, that concludes today's presentation. Uh, you might consider checking out, or good luck to you with your, inter- with your efforts in study of history and geography, learning about the countries of the world. You might consider checking out our website, Adventures in History with Peter J. Ray at peterjray.com. So far, we've made 736 history videos in, in nine areas. World history, <coughs> American history, book reviews, poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, autobiography, and Cleveland basketball. There's a donate feature. You might consider making a donation to support this work. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you next time.